Hi, the news about the release of Windows 11 intrigued many. About its features, innovations and differences from the 10s, watch the last video on our channel. And now let's find out does your computer handle this new operating system. Earlier, each new version of Windows left compatibility with most of the previous generations of hardware. Windows 11 has a radically different approach. Now, many laptops and desktops will be incompatible with new system. Let's look at the minimum requirements for installing Windows 11 and poll in the comments. Write if your PC supports it or not. On the official Microsoft website, on the Windows 11 page, if you go down to the very bottom, you will find a frame – check for compatibility. And here there was before, and will soon be again, a link to the PC health check utility, which will scan your hardware and give an answer whether Windows 11 will work on your PC or not. Now the time the video is being filmed, it is not available, because it incorrectly showed compatibility. To some of those who have new hardware, it reported that the PC doesn't support Windows 11. So now the utility is being finalized and an updated version will be available soon. It may be already available when you watch this video. Check it out. Despite this, we have two more ways to check the compatibility of your PC and Windows 11. Below we see the minimum system requirements, it remains only to compare them and everything will become clear. First, the processor is at least 2 cores and 64 bits. Most likely we all have such processors, they have been produced for more than 15 years. But this is not enough, click on the link and there is a list of supported processors. On this page select Windows 11 and the processor manufacturer. For example, among Intel we can see which chips Atom, Pentium, Celeron and Core are supported. If we talk about the most popular Intel cores, then there is only the 8th generation and newer. AMD had the same situation, only the models of recent years. It turns out that even if you have 7th generation's Core i7 with 8 cores and high performance, Windows 11 will not work? So far, yes. But not only those of us whose processors were scrapped, by the way, I'm also among those, are disappointed by this. As reported in the media, many users have poured into Microsoft, and perhaps they will reduce the requirements for the new system. I think that we should not be very hopeful in this regard, since Microsoft has made a big bet on the security of the new system, and old processors with their technologies leave big holes in it. But closer to October, when version 11 is ready, we will already know exactly how much the requirements of processors will be lowered and whether they will do it at all. Now let's move on. You should have 4GB of RAM and 64GB of free space on your computer, which is not a problem at all today. The video card must be compatible with DirectX 12 and WDDM second version. To check your video adapter for compatibility, search for its specifications on the internet or use the dxdiac command. Here you will see the DirectX version, on this PC it is the 12th, and the WDDM on the integrated video adapter is less than 2, it doesn't good, but here more than 2 is suitable. Next, there is one more requirement that can make your PC unusable for Windows 11. Here it is, TPM version 2, Trusted Platform Module. This is a module that connects to the motherboard and performs, among other things, the function of encrypting data on the disk. For example, BitLocker works with it to encrypt the disk and protect data from unauthorized access. The hard disk is encrypted and the decryption keys are stored in the motherboard or rather in the TPM module. To check if you have such a module, you can go to the device manager and look for it there. Or just write the tpm.msc command. And the special tpm service will show you whether you have it or not. I don't have it on this laptop, as you can see. Push like if you don't have one either. And if there is, like it to support those who do not have it. After comparing with the minimum system requirements manually, we have the following result. In this laptop, a 4-core, 8-thread core i7 of the third generation is not suitable. Also, there is no TPM module. Accordingly, Windows 11 is not supported. 
Replacing the motherboard and processor in a laptop is not an option. So the only way is to work with the 10th version. But that's not all. There is an additional way to check the compatibility of your PC with Windows 11. On the web you can download the Why Not Win 11 program, either on GitHub or on other sites. It is free, open source, scans your PC at startup and determines by itself what matches the requirements of Windows 11 and what doesn't. But when downloading the antivirus doesn't like it, so decide for yourself whether to risk it or not. People all over the world use the open source code, if anything experts can check for a viral code, but it is not exactly. I will neither advise nor dissuade you, just information. However, I advise you to write below what you have understood for yourself, whether Windows 11 is compatible with your PC or not. Also ask questions. Stay tuned, subscribe and watch other videos on our channel. For example, comparative tests of different versions of Windows. You will learn a lot from them. See you on there!